Hello future people, welcome to Getting Tabled, I'm Jason the Bruce, and today we're unboxing Badger's Complete Airbrush Maintenance Kit. <laughs> This is the same time that I ordered my new airbrush. Anybody that watched, hasn't seen that, it's over here. Um, I don't think that should be too surprising. I mean, if you're going to order one, obviously you order the other. Um, I've had maintenance kits for airbrushes before. Um, usually most people tend to have the little mini bottle brushes. But I ordered this for a couple of reasons. I mean, it was actually like quite reasonably priced. But I, I ordered this for a few reasons. I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to unbox this or not. But I thought there might be people out there that might actually still find this interesting. And I'm going to talk about a couple of things in here. And at least for the newbies, why these options might be better than some of the other options out there. So, the complete airbrush kit. I think the big thing about this is the disassembly tray. Because if you're disassembling your kit in this tray... It means that you don't have to worry about the parts going missing. Which, for an airbrush, should be a fairly big concern. Small part holding tubs. So that will be this. Part inspection magnifying lens. So if you're not sure if there's a problem there or not. Needle deburring file. That's definitely good. Needle polishing paper is inter interesting. Uh, needle cleaning buffer pad. So that's these. Colour cup cleansing pads. No idea what that is. I think that might be something else in this pile as well. Um, precision point cleaning swabs. That's fairly obvious. Various crevice application cleaning tools. Uh, good question. Might be these, maybe. Uh, two ounces multi-purpose cleaning agent. Obviously, that's the cleaning agent. Uh, nozzle protecting grip cap. Not 100% sure where that is. I think that might be inside there. Spare... Valve O-ring. That's actually a really good, honestly. Like, you don't get the spares of those very often. Spare head seal. Again, you don't get those very often. Thread sealant. Needle juice. Now, I actually have almost an entire full thing of needle juice. I, I don't know if I'm ever going to get, like... Because you don't use a lot of this. This is the needle juice. It's basically a lubricant for your brush. So where you've got metal on metal parts, uh, you need to lubricate them so that you're not getting like little metal filings from when you do things up and undo them all the time. Um, so I mean, me having a I mean, it's not a bad thing having a second one, but I don't know how obvious it is, but. This is a little more than half full now, and I've had it for a very long time. Uh, and a valve Allen wrench. So, hmm, interesting. So everything comes sealed. These are your instructions. Oh, here we go. So this actually tells you what we're looking at. So the disassembly trays are those ones, which is what I suspected. Tells you how to use everything. Hmm, nice. So first things first, this is your spray through cleaner. This is a smaller bottle. If you're going to buy this, my recommendation would be to buy the bigger bottles or maybe buy a smaller one and a bigger one and use the bigger one to fill up the smaller one. Just because look, you're going to go through a lot of this. And like I said, I definitely recommend this. Uh, just to give you an idea, that's how old my current one is. <laughs> I've had this for a long time. Uh, they've completely redesigned the um, bottle cap since I've had this. 
but this will last you a long time because you don't need to use a lot of it. So that is for if you've got a burr on the end of your needle because you've accidentally ruined it. These should be fairly obvious. So they are just Q-tips. But that is the one that they were talking about, which is for getting into really, really fine detail. There's another one in here as well that's even smaller. Because the one thing that I have noticed is getting into the actual needle tip, uh, like the very sharp tip that your needle goes into, is really, really hard to get into. Uh, to the point where, honestly, I've kept old needles and used needles to clean them out. Uh, this will be a much better solution. Um, don't use your good needles for it because you are asking for trouble with that because you're just going to ruin your needle. I'm speaking from experience. I have ruined a needle doing that. So in here we have sandpaper. Well, sort of. There's your one of your spare O-rings. Hey look, and you can see what it is. Obviously that's the magnifying glass. There's your end cap. These are actually really good. They're like one of the first things that go missing though. Because eventually there will be a point with your new airbrush where you will forget to pull this off and go to use it and watch it fly across to the room and you'll never find it again. So in here we've got our pads and no you're not mistaken these are just makeup removal pads this is exactly what they are so if you want to buy refills for these honestly it's the same thing just go and buy makeup pads like there's nothing embarrassing about it just go and buy them like in all honesty just go and buy a pack of them they're like a dollar for millions of them not literally, but you get my point. And temporary thread sealant. Not 100% sure what that's all about. Um, let's see what the paperwork says. I mean, it says that it's thread sealant, so I'm guessing it's for sealing your threads, but. Can be applied to nozzle and valve threads, sealing surfaces, hose connectors, etc. to prevent air leakage. Okay, yeah, so it's it's exactly what it says it is. Um, so if you're having issues with air escaping through your hose or your air valve and stuff, it's a temporary fix for that. That makes sense. So the big question that some people are going to have is why would you use this over the little mini brush bottle kits that you can buy from most of your retailers. Badger actually came out a couple of years ago with a statement saying that the brushes are too coarse and damage the inside of the airbrush, or can damage the inside of the airbrush. They're not the only ones. These are softer, and the actual tip for the record, like you know how with an earbud, it's, so with an earbud, you'll kind of squish that in. Like this is actually, still all the way to the tip it's actually still quite firm so they are actually i mean they're very expensive earbuds if they were earbuds could you just use a normal earbud yes of course you could um because it's essentially what it is but these are much softer and will help you clean the paint off without risking the damage to your airbrush now do i know for a fact that those little brushes will damage them no but Given that realistically Badger aren't going to make any money out of that. I mean, yes, obviously they're selling these, but most people don't listen and most people don't buy these. And if they were going to buy these, they'd spend $2 and buy a million of them from the, chem from the chemist uh, or the pharmacist or the drugstore if you're in the US. If you think about it, this is advice that Badger are giving that realistically they're not often going to make a lot of money out of. Because Badger would know that most people aren't going to buy these from them when they can buy them from the chemist for practically nothing. 
Um, I did buy these from them because, well, honestly, it was just, for me, it was just a bit of a cheaper way. I wanted to get a few things in this anyway, and I kind of li I like the tray, honestly. I've got no problem with this. Um, it seems like it's a good kit. It comes with everything that you need, quite literally. Um, but if this isn't the way that you want to go, my advice would be to spend a few dollars, buy some makeup removal pads, buy a thing of earbuds, set them aside in your hobby room, keep your files around for this as well, just in case you end up damaging your needle. Hopefully you don't, but just in case. You can get versions of these very, very easily without having to spend a lot of money. Thank you very much for checking out this video. If you're enjoying the content of this channel, please like and subscribe. If you're in a position to do so, please check out patreon.com slash getting tabled. You receive early access to at least 80% of all videos that we put out. And you get access to the video edition of all of our podcasts the day that they're uploaded. If you'd like to check us out on social media, facebook.com slash getting tabled is the most active. We also have a Discord server. You can email our team at gettingtabled at gmail.com. If you're on either Twitter or Instagram, you can find us at gettingtabled. And until next time, play more games.